Hi everybody. Um, I uh, was planning on showing you a video of me outside with a beautiful sunset, but alas, here we are. We have had, this is the fifth day in a row of um, having it be cloudy and rainy. It's, it's not raining right this second, but it looks like the skies could open up at any moment. Uh, but I still wanted to come outside because, you know, I like to change locations so I'm not always in my room or, you know, wherever. So I felt like mixing it up. Um, I have discovered with these five days in a row, even though it, the sun, well, with these five days in a row, let me say that part first. I could not live in the Pacific Northwest. Um, by the end of day two, I was like, bring me some freaking sunshine. Like that's what I need. And, um, it just has been so, oh, I just felt a sprinkle. Shit. Um, oh crap. I'm trying not to cuss. Ugh. Damn you, Sailor Mouth. Oh, wouldn't that be a fun cartoon instead of Sailor Moon, Sailor Mouth? And it's just this this anime character it just cusses and it has the long hair and it does the spinning and the in space and everything but every time she opens her mouth um it's just profanity just profanity oh i would watch the hell out of that cartoon uh, i'm not a big anime fan though so um it would have to be super special and there's been a couple of animes that people have tried to get me into and it just did not work out <laughs> i i can't they say you're supposed to watch it in Japanese and read the subtitles, but all the ones that I've watched were dubbed in English, and I liked those ones better. So um, there's disparaging schools of thought when it comes to anime versus subtitled or dubbed, and um, basically, I think the people who do the, the subtitles um, are kind of snobs. They feel like they're getting the true anime experience, and so um, it's... It is what it is, and I don't get it. I've tried to get into anime, and I can't. But Sailor Mouth, I would watch. I, I don't care. Like it, it could be, it could be about like watering flowers, and that's the basis of the anime. And I would watch it just to watch an anime character cuss out of their freaking mind. Um, but uh, I am digressing from my main point. Um, I lost where I was whenever I was telling about the story because then I cussed and then I went off in this tangent. Oh God, it sucks being inside my brain sometime. Um, you do not understand. You do not understand. Hi Luna, do you want to come up here? Luna, come on. Let me pick you up because I don't think you can do the step. All right, I have a co-host. Um, anyways, um, this weather has been getting to me and there's no way in hell I could live. Hey, can I have a kiss? No, give me a kiss. Luna, give me a kiss. She is so stingy with her kisses sometimes. If she is in your lap or on my bed, she's just like, nah, I'm the queen of the, of the roost. But, um, Maybe some scratches will get me a kiss. Now can I have a kiss? Oh, it did! It works! It works! Oh. But yeah, this weather is killing me. It's just, it sucks the life out of you. And every day, it wasn't rainy, it was just misting. Like, enough that you had to run your windshield wiper. Sometimes a little bit heavier that you had to turn it up a little bit. But, oh, God, it's just been so dreary. So when the sun came out today, before I went to my meeting, I was like, sweet, I can make my video in the sunlight outside. And lo and behold, as I was driving home, this happened. Look at this. Look at it! Huh! Oh, well... It's, it is what it is. Oh, you like that? You like that? You like that? I don't know if you can hear her groaning. Her little pleasure groans. Oh, you poor little blind thing. I'm going to get you a helmet, a football helmet. 
like those little ones that you can get at like games that are meant for like knickknacks. I'm gonna get one that's big enough and put it on her head so she doesn't run into stuff all through the house. I feel bad every time she crashes into something, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Miss Lady. We'll figure it out. But um, generally here in Oklahoma, we don't have the most beautiful sunsets. I mean, like they're nice. They're not horrible, but there's, um, if there's not enough clouds in the sky, it's boring. If there's too many clouds in the sky, then you can't see it. There has to be like the perfect mix. But when I lived in Missouri, outside of St. Louis, I, our house was on 1.87 acres or something like that. And there were just a big line of trees at the very end of the property. And so there were no buildings behind us, no trees right behind the house. And you could just see that sunset every night. And God, with the humidity in the air and the way, like it just, you saw every color imaginable. Um, there was one sunset like that here recently that I saw whenever I got out of uh, one of my meetings and um, it was really beautiful, but it was, it was a day that it had been very, or maybe it was the day after it had rained or something. There was something that, that put moisture in the air that, that, that um, I think made it that pretty. Uh, and there were just the perfect amounts of clouds and the way it was hitting them. Oh my God, it was so pretty. It really reminds me of sunsets in, uh, in Missouri. But, um, alas, we have this, and as long as I don't get rained on, oh, felt another drop. Isn't that the pits? Like, you say something, and, like, it brings it into fruition. Like, I said I don't want it to rain. I'll stay here until it rains, and now it's sprinkling. Yeah, it's definitely sprinkling. Oh, man. It looks like we're having a change of location. Unless it's just, no, it's coming down. All right, Luna, get down. Can you get down? Uh, she'll be helpless as I try to get her to go down the steps off the deck. Ugh. Stupid rain. I'm so over it. I am so over it. Oh, now my screen's all wet. Oh, come on, Luna. Well, now you guys are going to get to see my house. Come on, Luna. Don't run into the door. I know. You already told me. That was my dad. Here you go. And he was in one of my lives whenever I was coming back from South Dakota. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> um, I don't know where my mom is. She's... And here's my mom. Say hi, mom. Hello. Who's this? I'm doing my video for YouTube. But it started to sprinkle outside, so I came inside. No, yeah, I'm not done. Oh, you can't see me. Oh. All right, there we go. Oh, let me get this all situated. Ugh. I like sitting at an angle so you can see my my artwork and it's the TARDIS because I love Doctor Who and River Song from Doctor Who is the mofo greatest ever so if you don't know Doctor Who I highly suggest giving it a shot uh, watch from the reboot though so any episode that was 2000 what was it, 2004 and after no maybe it was 2001 2002 or 2001, I think, um, is when the reboot started. I like the old school um, uh, Doctor Who's, but um, some of them are a hard watch. I, I had a boyfriend who was really into watching the old ones, and um, some of them I just couldn't get through. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, all right, hun, you watch your stuff. I'm going to go upstairs and, you know, do whatever. And that's what I did. But I, I saw probably about four or five episodes from two different seasons with, um, oh, what was the actor's name who was the one with the scarf? I saw two, um, two uh, bits of two of the seasons that he was in. Um, cannot remember his name. Cannot remember it. Anyways, um, 
But that's my TARDIS poster painting. I mean, oh, it's not a painting, it's a print. I got it at, hi Luna, you found me. Um, I got it at Comic-Con uh, in Chicago back in like 2015, 16, no, maybe 15. And um, I, abs I saw it there and I was like absolutely in love with it. And I was like, is it for sale? And the artist was like, this one here already sold, but I can take down your information. You pay me now and I will mail you another print. And I was like, sign me up. And I was with a rich guy at the time. Um, so I had basically an, an unlimited amounts of money to spend at that Comic Con. And I spent the crap. I, I used that credit card a lot. <laughs> and that's, that's probably one of my most favorite buys from it. I bought a lot of t-shirts and um, other memorabilia, memorabilia um, and he paid for my trip too. So I had the airfare, and then the only thing we didn't have to pay for was a hotel because my friend that I that I met there with was um, um, his friend was a flight attendant or something, and we just got to use her hotel room, so we didn't have to pay for a room. So it was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, well, I don't remember what I was talking about whenever the the rain started. Um, I think it was just generally, I hate this weather. Um, I thrive on sunshine. Like I feel like I would probably be the most happy um, if I lived like San Diego or, you know, maybe somewhere. I mean, Florida has hurricanes. So that that's kind of like a, uh, but I was there during a hurricane one time. It was off, it was off the coast, um, but we had to deal with the residual storms that came off of it. And one night in Orlando, there was actually a tornado watch um, or warning. I think it was a tornado warning. Um, and um, but I left the hotel and still went to a bar to, you know, do my thing. Um, but generally the whole trip wasn't very ruined because it would only rain like for a little bit and then it would stop. So you would just like, if we were at Universal or at Disney and it started to rain, we would just go inside somewhere and wait five to 10 minutes and then it would be done. But then it would be so steamy and hot. Oh, it was worse than, than the humidity in Missouri. Because in Missouri, in St. Louis, it's on the confluence of three rivers, the Illinois, the Missouri, and uh, the Mississippi. And it's just a lot of water, putting out a lot of like vapor into the air. And when it's hot, oh my God, you walk outside and you start sweating immediately. Like you don't, like it's, cause you just feel saturated in the humidity. But that's what makes those, pre those really pretty sunsets is all that humidity in the air and making nice little hazy clouds for the sun to reflect off of uh, when it's going down. Um, so, oh God, I miss the sun. I really miss the sun. Like when it was out today, like it was actually hot. Like it's been pretty chilly the last five days. But when I, I walked out expecting it to be cold. But I didn't have a jacket. Not cold, but not like it was. I came out and it was like in the 70s. And I was like, sunlight, let there be light. So it was very, um, it was very nice. And yeah, I was hoping to share it with you. Because I, I haven't been making my videos about the fact that there's been no sun. I, I almost did the other day, but I was like, no one wants to listen to me bitch about the weather. Well, you're getting it anyway. So um, I hope you don't mind. Um, anyways... I'm really happy I got to see it just a little bit. And oh, well no, I'm, it's on my phone. So I can't look at the weather because I'm using my phone to record this right now. Um, I will have to look and see if it's gonna be rainy again tomorrow. The six days is just no bueno. No bueno.